What's up everybody, today we've got first impressions on Austin Reeves first signature shoe, the AR1 from Rigorer and Kickscrew sent them to me, so a big thank you to them they come in a special box, and they call the ice cream colorway and the box is really really something else, it looks so nice and as you can see I already unboxed them they also come with two pairs of socks, um, two different colors they're also in those little Austin Reeves ice cream packaging, which is looks really, really dope. And now enough for the box. Let's get straight into the shoes and let's start with traction performance. So for my first impressions, the pattern is a mix of a traditional herringbone and radial traction pattern. You can see um, here in the forefoot, there are some circles where it's radial. And then here all the way back we have some traditional herringbone lines and then all in the back it also gets kind of a bend shape again looks like a half moon maybe here in the middle and from what i can say so far on the wood floor in the hotel where we're staying at they feel very nice um i'm going to try them on court uh, tonight for the first time so then we'll know more um as you can see dust pickup was also mm, kind of there but the hotel floor also is more dusty than the gym floor, so we'll still have to see how it will be on dusty courts. So let's get to the cushioning setup. So from the tech specs, in the official description of the shoe it says it's an EVA foam midsole for low court feel and a low to the ground feel. So that's essentially also how it feels, but I have to say it feels softer in the heel than I would have expected. That could also be because the insole is actually had it very nicely. I'll put them out and show you real quick. So as you can see, we have nice padding here in the back. There's some compression that can be seen, and also in the forefoot, it's very thick with a lot of compression going on. So that's very nice. Um, I like that feel a lot. And you can also see there is a cutout in here. I'll put a close-up onto the screen, and that also allows for more compression than with usual shoes. Um, also the strobe board has some bigger holes and holes throughout the whole footbed so that also allows for more compression in the shoe which is something I think is very nice if there's only foam cushioning in the shoe. Moving on to the materials, it's a woven textile upper, um, it feels very supportive on foot, there is also some extra lace loops here for reinforcements when doing hard lateral movements and to be honest that's my favorite lace in setup because you can tie the laces down and they will hug around your feet up here and then you can also tie those extra parts and they will also hug all the way from the footbed up to the other, other laces and that just feels very supportive and very nice. Something else that's also very interesting and that's never seen before, they call it on their website and I have to agree, I've never seen that before, is those little bubbles here on the tongue and they are actually there to not make the laces cut into your feet, which is a very nice addition to a shoe in my opinion, because that's something that can be very, very uncomfortable. If there's not enough material here, the laces will dig into your feet and will hurt a lot. What's also very interesting is that they have some little knobs here in the heel that will prevent you from slipping out of the shoe, which will be very interesting to see how that performs on court. So talking about support, as you can see, we have a kind of see-through shank plate which is very interesting you can really look through the entire shoe and um, i think it will do a good job there's not too much forefoot flex and also laterally they don't flex a lot so i think they will do great also with a nice lacing system and they also have a nice snug fit um, i do believe there's also a heel counter there it didn't say anything on the website but you can feel that there's some harder material here in the back so i think support will be just fine well, for the last part, let's talk about fit. They fit true to size lengthwise in my opinion, but they fit a little bit snug here right around this area with the outrigger. So for wide footers, I would recommend going up half a size or even a full size. It depends on how wide your feet are. For everybody else, true to size will be just fine if you like very snug and one-to-one -one fit. Last but not least, they will retail for $100. They will release globally on Kicks Crew. On the 11th of August, you'll have to sign up for them before I leave a link in the description on how you can get to the sign up. 
There's also a giveaway, so if you sign up, you have a chance to win one of five pairs, which is very nice in my opinion. And as I said, they retail for $100, which is a great price for first signature shoe, as well, especially for the first signature shoe with a special colorway, special box and two pairs of socks extra. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll be testing these out on court and we, I'll be giving you my final thoughts on them very soon. Um, and stay tuned for more performance reviews and subscribe to my channel if you like the content.